We're now on the main playground of Norwich School, which for several hundred years has been a place for children to entertain themselves, usually with tennis balls throwing up the ancient flint walls or in games of football across the actual playground. But actually it's got an interesting history. It's surrounded by buildings that were affected by the Second World War. Some of these buildings were sponsored by the Worshipful Company of Dyers, hence their coat of arms appears on the Dyers Lodge. Originally much of this building was done to incorporate science labs, which the school lacked, and give it more actual clout with parents in terms of subject matter and curriculum. The building with um, Dutch gables was built actually as a gymnasium in about 1930 and was one of the first equipped gymnasiums in a school. It's actually been converted since to a drama studio and a rather large classroom. But there's an interesting fact that the school even then had interest in the physical education of its pupils. In terms of the actual space we're standing on, it's been used by the cadet force in the Second World War for parading. And in that war, the six formers were actually the fire watchers on the cathedral roof. And it was during one of those raids that incendiary bombs fell amongst the buildings of Norwich School and were undetected. So that by the time the incendiary bombs had caught hold, we lost quite a lot of the school archive, the headmaster's study, the staff common room and one or two other classrooms. And it was only with the help of Dean and Chapter and the Worshipful Company of Dyers that we managed to restore this area and get the buildings back into active use. 